Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning to you all. Well, it is Sunday, the 15th of October, 2023. And my video from yesterday finally loaded about a half an hour ago. The only thing I can think of with that is that it has something to do with my doorbell camera. Uh, that it's taking a room here in my phone. Um, it's just slowing things down. So I did order a micro SD card. <clears throat> what is it? 200, what is it? 256. So I ordered that, so it should be here next week, like later on in the week sometime. <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully that is going to help the problem out. Okay, today I am working here, I'm continuing to work here on my um, Santa's Village. So I am right over here. So I'm just going to work here on um, this bit of, um, oh, where is it here? I'm just working my way back and forth and trying to... Um, See how much I can get done today. Yeah. I don't know. That video was so, so slow. And I went to bed last night and it was 70%. And I got up this morning and it was only 82%. So, yeah. I, I really, I think it has something to do with um, that doorbell. I think it's just, there's so much space taken up on my uh, phone <clears throat> that it's causing problems. So if that's the case, then I will be just doing videos like this every day until I get my SD card. And <clears throat> I hope it makes a difference. I hope so. So, but um, yeah. So, um, I'm continuing to work on it's um, October, so it's the houses of October built. That is the challenge for this month. <clears throat> and shortly, I will tell you what the challenge is for November. And I hope you all like it. I hope you like it, and I hope it gets your brain to thinking. And that you look through all your kits or um, counted patterns and find something that will fit for this. <clears throat> so, yeah. Next Sunday, there will be a live, God willing, of course. And, um, so hopefully that will go well. It's, um, I'm afraid it's third Sunday of the month is always Father Paul. So, and Mass is at noon. I wish it was earlier. I really wish it was, I think a lot of us wish that it was like 10 o'clock, but it doesn't work with 
the other parishes. <clears throat> so I think what it is, he comes to Lundar for eight o'clock. Then he turns around and he goes back to St. Laurent. Is it St. Laurent or goes to Woodlands? Not sure. And then he drives all the way back up here for noon. And then he's at um, Lake Man for four o'clock. <clears throat> so... It would be nice if he could do it the other way, like Lake Man in the morning at 8, come here for 10. Um, but I don't know how that would fit in there with Lunder. I think it should be that when he comes up here, that he misses, he doesn't say mass in Lundar. Um, but the other three Sundays, yeah, he can go to Lundar. <clears throat> so. Yeah. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I like it when he comes here. And then he usually, after, um, a few of the parishioners go over to the Havakin and they have coffee and he has his lunch there. I think he gets his lunch. I'm not sure, but I think he does. I don't think he brings it. I know sometimes he brings it, but not all the time. So I am just going to finish this little bit here. Yeah, so I did quite a bit yesterday. I swept the floors. I did the laundry. No, sorry. I did the dishes. I did the dishes. I, um, what else did I do? I went outside and flicked over the tarp to get it dried out so I can fold it up. So I will go outside then and do that today. And um, what else did I do? Oh, I put a uh, heavier blanket in for for um, Jonah and Sydney's bed outside so that they they are warmer. They're pretty closed in there, but at least it'll be warmer. that okay <clears throat> yep okay so I'm going to show you what's coming up.
for November's challenge. And it took a little bit, but I will give you kind of a hint right now. Um, I'm going to try and sing it. So hold your ears if you don't like off-key singing. <laughs> Time after time, if I could save time in a bottle, um, if I could turn back time. Okay, so I don't know if you've got that, what that means. But I have a couple of projects here that I want to work on for November. And this is one of them. Notice, turn back time. Clock, turn back time. Okay, so there is this. And there is this one that I want to work on. Okay. Now, do you see... Do you see what the theme is? I hope you can figure out the theme. But it, it really is... Um, you know, doing something like this, right? So, if I could turn back time, you know, if I could save time in a bottle, that's Jim Crochet, which I don't sound anything like. And then there is um, time after time, you know who sung that? Cindy Lauper. And the one who sang, If I Could Turn Back Time, Cher. So, yeah. So the theme for November is If You Could Turn Back Time. What age would you look at? You know, like, um, so it can be something from the 1950s, 1970s, turn of the uh, previous century, 1800s. Um, it could be back to the 1500s, 1400s. Um, you could go back even further to biblical times. You could go back further to caveman times. You could go back to the dinosaur age. Anything. So, the race is on to see what you all find for November. And I think I will call it um, If I Could Turn Back Time Challenge. Okay? So if I could turn back time, I would go to the middle to late 1800s. With all the knowledge I've got right now, of course. <laughs> and if you've kind of followed my channel for a bit, I'm big into time travel. And I, I just have this thing. I love reading books about time travel. Um, there is an author that I read or listen to. I think her name is Kelly Armstrong. She's a Canadian. 
and she uh, writes time travel books. They're like mysteries and things like that. And um, I've always been interested in that genre. I especially like it when it goes back like modern humans, you know, a group of them go back in time to um you know, the dinosaur age or something. Right? Something like that. Stone age. And I've read quite a few books. Uh what's his name? Inman? No, her. Inman, Sean Inman, I think is, that's the first name. Can't remember. And, or S-A, S-A Inman. And she writes a lot of books like that. Very good. Very good. So, yeah. So if you're a history person or you have an interest in a certain time period, you know, like um, Jack the Ripper, right? East London, Whitechapel District, 1880s, 1888. You know, to go back and try and solve that mystery of who it was. And, um, yeah. Or would you um, go back to when the Twin Towers were hit? Or would you... Um, um, you know, um, like Back to the Future, right? Would you like to go there and see your parents? Like, I would like to go back and tell my mother, stay in Germany. Just stay there. Just stay there. Don't, don't come over here. Don't get involved with my father. Now, does that mean I would still be here? Not in the way that I am now. Yeah. But I think you get, you know, like you can go back to the Viking Age. You can go back to the, to, uh, like Pirates of the Caribbean, or you can um, uh, go back to the 1940s, um, the Roaring Twenties, and it's time going backward, not forward. So not something futuristic. So... Yeah, so I'm eager to see what you all think. I think that's going to be awesome. That is going to be awesome, awesome. Of course, I have got to finish this thing up first, right? Yes, that is my goal. But I am looking forward to working on that. Now, I may just do it that I work on one for a week and then work on the other one for a week or work on one for two weeks and then go to the other one. I don't know yet. I, I don't know yet. So, yeah, that is an interesting challenge. See, I try to come up with stuff, right? Something just different than somebody else does. Just something totally 
different and um, just, <clears throat> yeah. So please go over to the Facebook group and after you've searched around, of course, and you can um, you can see what it is that you want to work on and then post the picture in the Facebook group if you're able to. If you're not able to, then send me a picture and I think I have a way now to get it to post. I have to take a screenshot of it. <clears throat> but yeah. So I am eager, eager, eager to see what you all have chosen. Now this is going to be exciting. I know some people would have like Thanksgiving in, in the U.S., of course. Thanksgiving in the U.S., um, a lot of people. You can even do uh, Remembrance Day where uh, you have the poppies um, or the crosses, you know. Um, um and do something like that. That too is history, right? Um, you can do antique cars. You can do something with horse and buggy. You can do something with... Um, King Henry, you can do something like um, hmm, antique trains, uh, the big galleon ships, you know, anything along that line, anything along that line. You could probably even do Mary Poppins, because that's historical, right? So I am eager, eager, eager to see what you all come up with. So these are the two that I'm looking at. Now, there is no bloody way <laughs> that I'm going to get Either one of those done for November. I know that. I know that. Now, I think on my pink lady, I'm not stitching the background. So that's going to eliminate quite a bit. So the reason why I like her is because I like that. That's late. 1800s, like 18, middle to eight, uh, late 1890s to 1900, 1910, somewhere around in there. So I do, I do like that. And I do like my, I do have another one, which is Lady in the Woods. So I might bring her out. I have to see how I feel on that. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, right there. A little bit up here. So, yeah. So this will be exciting. Because I have never, I have, I have not seen a single person do. You could even do a sampler that has the date eighteen fourteen, 
1827, you know, one of the old samplers, right? But it's got to be like in the past, right? Like not a modern day sampler, right? So one of the old, the old samplers. So, so you can even do that. Like there's such a parameter of it, right? It's, it's, you're only limited by your imagination with it. So. I'm just eager to see what y'all come up with. Oh, we've got a beautiful sunny day. It was so foggy this morning, but now it looks so nice. So we'll see how fast this video loads. And hopefully it won't take as long. Like it was almost 24 hours. That one. It was 39 minutes or something, I think. So it was a little bit on the longer side, but... It still should have loaded faster. So. Now I set my eyes to what to do for December. I got a couple of ideas. So, um, We'll see. I'm I'm thinking now towards that. But I have a whole month to design. <laughs> but you know as well as I do, that goes like that, right? Very fast. Very, very fast. Poor Jonah is dealing with a abscess right up here. And it's too hard. It hasn't softened up yet. And Sydney just goes, Adam, I I have I have got to do something with Sydney there. They have to be separated or something. Because he's just, I know to him it's just all fun and games. But to Jonah it isn't. And Jonah's pretty mild. He's he's not a fighter. He's not a fighter. Sydney's a fighter. Sydney's an instigator. Jonah just wants to be left alone. He's an old boy. He just wants his peace and quiet. Doesn't want to be harassed. Yeah. So yesterday I just descaled my kettle. I mean, there's a lot of lime, um, you know, scaling in there. But I did it twice, and I rinsed it out, I don't know, four or five times. Made sure I boiled it. And that, so. The descaler I got was pretty good. I think it's a co-op brand. I had to put two in this time, because one wasn't enough. One was not enough. So please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. 
and um, there's the dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. All you need to do is give me the name of one of my three side picks. And I tell you who they are every single video. And there's also my dedicated um, email address, which is stitching in the interlake at gmail.com. Yes, yes, yes. So, all right, everyone, I guess that's it for me today. Hopefully this loads, please, God. <laughs> all right, I hope I can see you back here tomorrow, God willing, of course. And we'll see how the rest of my day goes. And it's 10 after 10 right now. Beautiful sunshine. And the flies are out again. I don't know how many I got in here yesterday. And there's more. They're just. I think it has something to do with back there. Um, because of the insulation. And the flies get up in there in the insulation. And then they worm their way through. Yeah. No. Nope. Okay, everyone. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes herself, Miss Lily Bell and Jonah. And Sydney the Brat is outside. So, yeah, I hope you have a fantastic Sunday and we will see you too. Back here tomorrow, God willing, of course. To littles, everybody.